Hey everyone, I'm Velen, and in this video, we'll cover model complexity and how to fix performance issues with practical tips and real examples. We'll also cover analyzing model complexity and optimizing geometry with hands-on demonstrations you can apply to your own projects right away. Did you know that how you build your 3D models directly affects your world's frame rate and performance? Whether you're just starting out or already experienced, let's boost your world's performance and take your creation skills to the next level. Let's start with how to analyze model complexity using in-editor tools and visual comparisons. You'll learn to identify high poly models and excessive draw calls that can impact performance. Our first topic is on polygon count and draw calls and why they matter for performance. Polygon count refers to the number of triangles in a mesh, with higher counts leading to more complex models and increased rendering times. Draw calls, on the other hand, represent the work required to render a mesh and its associated material. So let's look at how to check polygon counts and draw calls using tools in Horizon Worlds. So within the editor itself, you'll notice that when you go in, it's initially going to be, well, it's gonna display how the world looks to all players. But this sort of view, doesn't actually reflect what the complexity of your meshes in the world are. In order to actually get a view for that, we're going to go into this menu here. You see that there's different options, shaded, wireframe, collision, etc. So initially we're on shaded, but if we check and change it to solid wireframe, you'll see suddenly that now you can visualize your meshes with how complex they are. So this wall, for example, here, this isn't complex at all. Besides the actual wireframe view, which you can see the complexity of your meshes, you can also activate the overdraw view and that will show you, well, basically how bad your overdraw in your world is going to be. To understand the impact of model complexity on performance, let's compare high poly scene with a low poly scene. So in this case, you can see our scene here is made up of a bunch of different simple objects. And when we switch over to the actual solid wireframe view, we also see that there isn't much complexity in regards to how many polygons and vertices are available in the meshes. If we drag in some other assets though, we can see that their actual vertices are much, much, much higher to the point where, hey, I can't even see how many triangles are on here. In general, you want to reduce the number of triangles that are gonna be in your meshes while still maintaining some level of visual quality. Worlds offer several settings also that can help optimize performance. You can find the settings menu under the main menu dropdown here and player settings. As you can see, there's a lot of different options, but in this case, we're gonna focus on just a few of them. The first one is frame budget boost. So this is gonna allow you to dynamically adjust rendering quality to maintain a consistent frame rate. Similarly, you can also adjust if you're gonna be using the max quality avatar model or not for the players in your world. Obviously, max quality is gonna come at a higher performance cost. And the other setting that you want to pay attention to is the maximum player count. This allows you to set how many players can enter the world. Obviously, the more players there are, potentially the less performant that your world can be. By using these settings and understanding the impact of model complexity, you can create smoother experiences. Now that we've covered how to identify complex models, let's move on. Next, we're going to tackle how to optimize geometry to reduce polygon count, clean up unnecessary detail, and use level of detail to improve performance. Mesh simplification is super important because it reduces the polygon count of a model without noticeably changing its appearance. One common tool for this is the decimate modifier in Blender. In addition to automatic tools, you should perform manual cleanup on your models. This includes removing hidden faces, extra geometry that won't be visible, and small details that don't serve a clear purpose. Finally, let's talk about level of detail, or LOD for short. This technique uses different model versions based on distance from the viewer. Close-up objects show full detail, while distant ones use simplified version. This boosts performance by freeing up resources, creating smoother gameplay with less lag, and it improves memory efficiency for more detailed worlds. Imagine that you have a tree right in front of the player showing each leaf and ridge on the bark, but in the background, those trees are automatically going to use simpler shapes that from a distance look good. You get detail where it matters while keeping performance smooth. To learn more about implementing LODs in your worlds, explore the official documentation and community tutorials. Now that we've optimized our geometry, you will also want to focus on optimizing textures, which can have a significant impact on both visual quality and performance. While we won't cover texture optimization in this video, there are plenty of great resources available to help you learn about resizing, compressing, 
and combining textures into atlases. We'll link these references in the description, so please check them out. There are a few things that you need to remember. First off, lower polygon counts and fewer draw calls will improve your performance. And you can achieve this using LODs and texture atlases, which are essential for scalable worlds. And finally, don't forget that not everything can be automatic. Some manual cleanup and optimization before importing into Horizon will save you a bunch of time later down the line. To apply what you've learned, we encourage you to try simplifying a model in your own project. You should experiment with LODs to see how they affect performance. And finally, review our official documentation to ensure you understand the texture limitations. For continued learning, be sure to check out the resources linked in the description, including the detailed world's documentation on meshes, materials, and texture optimization. The MetaHorizon Creator Forum is also a great place to connect with other creators and learn from each other. So go forth and optimize. I'll see you in the next one.